Alam niyo ba ang hibernation? Practically, this is a state of deep sleeping or torpor na ginagamit ng ibang mga hayop as natural strategy to survive harsh environmental conditions gaya ng winter season and food scarcity. Sa pamamagitan ng hibernation, animals are able to conserve their energy, reduce metabolic activity, and survive the challenging setup of nature. Maraming hayop ang may kakayahang mag-hibernate. However, one of the well-known hibernators ay ang mga oso. Bears retreat to their dens during the cold season for months without eating, drinking, or moving. And during this state, sila lamang ay natutulog sa loob ng mahabang panahon. Bukod sa mga oso, bats, groundhogs, dormice, hedgehogs, and lynxes are also identified as hibernating animals. To endure extended periods of dormancy, the process of hibernation involves several key physiological changes. Pero paano nga ba ito nangyayari? Before hibernation, animals need to accumulate energy reserves in the form of fat. Ito ay ginagawa sa pamagitan ng pagkain ng excess food dahil ang primary source of energy during hibernation ay ang kanilang fats. As hibernation begins, a dramatically decrease of metabolic rate will happen. Ibig sabihin, the animal's heart rate, respiration rate, and body temperature ay bababa. With their reduced metabolic rate, hibernating animals are able to conserve energy at dahil sa kanilang fat storages. These fats will then be converted to energy to sustain their dormant period. At dahil dyan, kayang-kaya ng mga hibernating animals na matulog sa loob ng ilang buwan. Ang galing, di ba? Mapapasana all ka na lang talaga. Indeed, hibernation is a complex process of survival and adaptability. Nakakamangha at kakaiba. Tunay na ito'y isang wondrous creation. Ito'y patunay lamang na dakila at makapangyarihan ng Diyos na may likha ng lahat. Salamat po sa Diyos!